Internet if it is a channel where we explore the truth behind the headlines. Billions approved for weapons under Buhari are unaccounted for. This is coming from Major General Babagana Mongunu, retired, who incidentally is Buhari's National Security Advisor, NSA. The Nigerian National Security Advisor, General Babagana Mongunu, retired, has said that a huge amount of money approved for purchase of weapons under President Mohamedou Buhari cannot be accounted for. People of Nigeria, those who still think that Nigeria is a country, pause for a moment and think about this. This is coming from your NSA, that the money is appropriated for and approved for weapons to protect you are not accounted for. This is indeed a scandal. Nigerian Security Advisor General Babangida Mongunu has said a huge amount of money approved for purchase of weapons under President Muhammad Buhari cannot be accounted for. He said this. He said, when the newly appointed chiefs assumed office, they did not find the weapons that their predecessors ought to have purchased. This is, this is one thing he said this morning in a BBC interview. Now ask yourself, who were the chiefs that he is referring to? The former service chiefs are ex-chief of defense staff, Abayomi Olunisakin, former chief of army staff, Tuku Boratai, former chief of naval staff, Ebok Ete Ekwe Ebas, and former chief of air staff, Sadiq Abubakar. He continued that President Buhari appointed them as ambassador after their voluntary resignation from service. Well, we at Njenje Media had already said that these men were never, uh, they never resigned, they were kicked out. But to reward them in the abysmal performance that they rendered to the nation, rewarded them with ambassadorial post. It means that the government of change has changed the change they promised. President Buhari appointed them as ambassador. That is no longer news. That they've been rubber stamped and approved for these ambassadorial posts by the Nigerian Senate is also no longer news. What is news now is that the NSA is now saying where are the weapons and the money that was approved for these weapons, where are these weapons? In an interview with the BBC House of Service on Friday this morning, Mongano said that the failure of the security personnel to get adequate weapons is a setback to fight against the insecurity. As we are speaking, girls have been kidnapped from Kaduna. As we speak, another set were kidnapped from Kastina as well. Babagana Mongunu continued. It is not that we are working to end the security challenges in the country. The president has done his own part and allocated huge amount of money to purchase weapons, but they are yet to be here. We don't know where they are. Quote, we don't know where they are. The question that will bother every single Nigerian is, where are these weapons? Where are the money budgeted for? And he continues again, we quote, I'm not saying that the past service chiefs have diverted the money, but presently we don't know where the money is. So, you know, because he's doing this, he's not trying to indict anyone. He's not a law court. But the preceding statement has actually done the indictment. And we re-quote again. I am not saying that the past service chiefs have diverted the money, but presently we don't know where the money is. Meaning, they have diverted the money. That's what it is. But he's just saying it. He doesn't want to get into trouble. And whether the investigation has commenced on the issue, the NSA said, I am sure the president will investigate this. So, if no money was looted, if no money was stolen, what is the president investigating? We can comfortably say that under President Muhammad Buhari, those money meant for the procurement of ammunition has been stolen. If not, why are we talking about investigation if everything is all right? This nation has gone to the dogs. As I am talking to you now, even the Nigerian Governors Forum has started questioning where the money is. Of course, why wouldn't they question? Because people keep dying right, left and center. And the nation still goes ahead and pay people who have abducted their daughters 
what manner of nation engages in that level of madness? And he continues, so I assure you that the president is not playing with anything that has to do with the people. Well, are you now a presidential spokesperson? A president who, in the midst of all these things happening in Nigeria, deems it fit not to address the people he governs. Another quote. I can't say that the money was stolen, but we didn't see anything. And even the new service chiefs said they didn't see the weapons. So if those that were elected, appointed, and confirmed by the Senate are saying we cannot find this weapon to go procure and produce and defeat these monsters, where are the weapons under Buhari? Is the Buhari, is the president still sleeping? It is possible the weapons are on their way coming. Coming from where? Baba Ghana Mongono, if we ask you, the weapons are coming from where? And he replies, maybe from America, maybe from England and other places. I said, now, I don't see anything. And the service chiefs too didn't see any weapons too. I think this is, with all due respect, this is entirely an arrant nonsense statement Baba Ghana Mongono has said. How can you be talking about weapons coming from America and from England? Yet you say you saw no weapon, then where are the documents? If someone imports a car from Germany or from America, people, you will have what we call bill of flooding. If they have imported these weapons and paid for with the money you said is missing, then we should have documentation saying 20 billion was paid to America, 15 billion to Germany and to, uh, to uh, get these weapons. But here you are with no such information and you are still defending men whom apparently has made away with the money. He said, President Buhari is that President Buhari directed the new service chiefs to end insurgency within a short period of time, adding that the president is committed to ending insecurity. You cannot catch a lion with bare hand. You can't end insurgency by paying bandits. You can't end insurgency with bare hand get that into your head these people you wonder how they come into the offices that they occupy on whether the federal government will dialogue with bandits the retired general said you can only dialogue with people that stick to promise and will not deceive people and the government meaning the bandit have been deceiving you collecting billions from the nigerian people and yet continue with their banditry or are politicians behind the bandit and collecting this money on behalf of the bandit? Because I see no reason why a bandit who is a criminal will collect billions and still go in the bush without coming to the town to enjoy this money. People, are we making sense here? Once more, this is still in Ginger Media TV. Those people are not in good position to dialogue with them because they are not worth it. <laughs> they are not worth it, yet they keep kidnapping, raping, maiming, taking our girls people are insisting we must dialogue while they are not good people that you can dialogue with when you talk about people are insisting baba gana mongono women ask you do not equate two million nigerians with sheikh gumi who is the spokesperson of the bandit they only want to continue killing the people and government will not tolerate that he concludes you think an nsa is saying that government is not going to tolerate that yet the same people that said government is not going to tolerate that are there that this morning, as we speak, this morning, they've gone to Kaduna. They've kidnapped people in Kaduna. And all we can say, or we can hear is where Ahmed, Bashar Ahmed, saying that a sad news coming out of Kaduna is heartbreaking. And it's a breaking news. The kidnapper stormed Kaduna school, abduct only female students. Only female students. Yet, there is no weapon. There is no, the money meant for this war to be fought is nowhere to be seen. Again, as we are doing this, this morning, the same morning today, the 12th of March, 2021, here at Ninja Media Studio, another breaking news. Bandit kidnaps 55 villagers from Kat Sale in Sabua, local government of Castina, majority of whom were women. And this is also a country home of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. People, are you still in doubt that Nigeria has gone to the dogs? We are no more in doubt. Once more, my name is Mike Udenta. This is Ginger Media TV.
12th of March 2021. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please by all means click on the subscribe button, like the video, share the video and also click on the bell icon so that whenever we upload our wonderful content, you'll be among the first to know. Thank you.